California, Mr. Kiley. Gentleman from California is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, the situation at the southern border is utterly untenable. It is an urgent national security and public safety crisis. Everyone knows it. The American people know it. Members on both sides of the aisle in this House know it, and the President sure ought to know it. What we have seen is absolutely beyond anything we have ever seen before. In the three years of this administration, there have been 6.7 million illegal border crossings, 1.7 million gotaways, folks that just evaded detection uh, by border, border Patrol. In the last month, we had days where there were 10,000 illegal crossings in a single day. These numbers are staggering and they are unprecedented, but what is the meaning of those numbers? Well, on the one hand, it has been an absolute bonanza for the cartels, but on the other hand, it has been an absolute tragedy for the American people. As we have truly incredible amounts of fentanyl coming into the country, taking the lives of young people in every community in our country every day, we have more and more people suffering through the horror of human trafficking and being victimized. And we have growing national security risks every day with the increasing likelihood of terrorists coming into this country, putting all Americans at risk. Mr. Speaker, this isn't brain surgery. We know what a secure border looks like. The House has passed legislation, the Secure the Border Act, with common sense reforms, beefing up our border security with physical barriers, with technology, with border patrol, with common sense legal reforms to the parole in the asylum process. Even reinstating uh, Remain in Mexico, that one simple step would solve a good portion of this problem. This should not be a political issue. It is not a partisan issue. It is a basic matter of governments. It is the most basic thing that Americans ought to be able to expect from our government. It is a most basic responsibility of a civil society and of a nation state. That is why Americans, Democrat, Republican, Independent, it doesn't matter, are urgently calling for change. This resolution gives voice to that call for change, and I'm proud to support it. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlemen.